Hi my fragrance friends, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are gonna cover Vanilla Scents. Um, it's fall season, the air is so, sort of kind of getting crisp, at least towards the evening time. Uh, so when I think of fall, I, I, I prefer more Vanilla Scents in this time. Um, so I have about about 20, so I think 19 specifically to cover today. Some you have heard of everywhere. Um, some of them you have not really heard of, and some of them you have not heard of at all. So I'm gonna kind of go in order of one from like the most the most inexpensive to the ones that are a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, and I'm not gonna get too much into the notes because I feel like we'll be here forever because it's quite a bit to cover, but I will try to give you as um, many notes that I can and just kind of give you uh, an experience of the, of the, uh, of the perfume. Um, and I just wanted to take a, a minute to just say thank you to everyone here. So if you just wanna get straight to the perfume, just cut ahead to two minutes from now. Um, literally just two months ago, I started making sit down videos and um, as of today, I'm at 400 subscribers. Literally eight weeks ago, only eight weeks ago, I had 10 subscribers and I'm overestimating. It was probably less than 10 subscribers. Um, and you guys have joined me to become my family and my friends online. And I really appreciate you guys. The whole reason why I started YouTube was to converse about fragrance um, and perfume and body mist and all things body care and just all the things because um, people around me are not into it the way that I am. So I have no one to nerd out about it with. Um, and I again, I know 400 is like absolutely nothing to other people and it's like a drop in the ocean and people have been doing this for years or a couple of years. Um, but to me, you guys are everything and I will always respond to your comments even if it takes me a while I will always respond to you. There are still a couple of comments that are pending because I don't just want to respond with an emote emo icon and then not put any thought into it. So like when I respond to you, I want it to be genuine and I want it to be an authentic response and a real response. Like I literally want to engage with each of you. And like, even when you guys correct me, like um, Victoria Galvin, I love her. Like she corrects me when I'm obviously saying something that's inaccurate or if I'm a little unsure because she does it so nicely. And another one of, um, my friends here on YouTube was kind enough to point out in like one of my earlier videos that like I seemed disappointed in that video and she was right. My vibe was off because I was disappointed and you know, we guys, we're humans. We're, we're going to have fluctuating emotions um, and vibes in videos because we are human. Anybody behind a camera, it's not easy getting behind it, whether or not I'm, I'm showing my head. And just a reminder, the reason why my head is not on camera is for the protection and the privacy of my career. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I see all of you, um, especially my friend, uh, my friends out in Saudi Arabia. Marhaba, kithak ya habibi. I see you. Um, my friends in Brazil, also in Germany, and my friends in Philippines. Oh my gosh, hello, hello, salamat. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to just take a moment to acknowledge that literally it's only been two months. I was making shorts prior to that, but like it was so inconsistent and nobody was watching it. And um, yeah, so literally eight weeks ago, I was at maybe ten subscribers, and I'm overestimating here. And now I'm at 400 and probably someone's gonna unsubscribe after this, but it's okay, like literally you do you. Like listen, it's a free world. Do what makes you happy. But I just wanted to say everybody who took the time to click that button and took the time to listen to me, took the time to comment with me. I, I really don't think you guys quite understand how much it means to me. So I just wanted to stop and say thank you. All right, with that, we're just gonna hop right in. Okay, so first I wanted to do an honorable mention. So in my one of my perfume videos, um, I think my perfume review, perfume review of the month, I think two months back, um, I had mentioned Victoria's Secret Bear. So this honorable mention here, this is one of the newer releases from, well, it's not so new now, but from Victoria's Secret. Um, and there is, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I already have a backup already. Um, there is, let's see, so there's, Mandarin, there is violet and sandalwood listed in here, but I noted like there, there smells like there is a vanilla note in here. And then this weekend I was watching, um, Veronica says, she's not going to see this. There's no way she'd watch this, but, um, and she had mentioned the same thing that I mentioned. I was like, 
oh my god because at first second there i thought i was crazy because i hadn't heard anyone else mention that there's a vanilla note in here as my nose and my brain is picking it up and she had mentioned it too and i'm like oh great you know we're not crazy two people cannot be crazy um so yeah so i just wanted to put that as an honorable mention victoria's secret bear even though there is no vanilla note listed in here i still wanted to mention it as an honorable mention Okay, and the next one I wanted to mention for vanilla fragrance, which again, does not get any love, um, is, or much love, excuse me, um, is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. Um, I've repurchased this over the years. This is a dry sandalwood vanilla fragrance. So there's sandalwood, but it's a dry sandalwood. Um, so like this one has like a creamy base sandalwood. This is a dry sandalwood. This has violet as well. And this has vanilla. So this is more of a woody, more a dry vanilla for those who do not like gourmand scents. But the problem is with this, as amazing as it does, as amazing as it smell, it does not last long. So what I like to do, I like to pair um, Victoria's Secret Bear with um, Elizabeth and James Black. So you have the dry sandalwood and then you have the creamy sandalwood and you mix them together and it helps that lasting power and it just takes it to the next level. Okay, so, ooh, and also I will list everything down below as well. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah, so I will list everything down below. Okay, moving right along. Uh, we have Jessica Simpson here. We have Signature. So this was released, I think, about 10 years ago, and I've been going on and on about this since the beginning of my channel. And there's multiple things in here. There's apricot, there's clementine, there is... Let's see there. Oh, white chocolate note, and there's also vanilla. And when you first smell this, you get that white chocolate and you get that vanilla. It's sweet, it is feminine, and it lasts on my skin. Um, I was reading reviews on Fragrantica that this is not last. Um, they can't smell it. I would beg to differ because it lasts on my skin and I get compliments with this. Uh, so yeah, I have not seen this on any vanilla list. And I, first of all, nobody on YouTube prior to me had mentioned this. And there's only one other person that mentioned it after me. Um, and this does not get any love on any vanilla list. It's just one of those underrated gems. Not underrated, like if you know about it, you know about it, but like nobody on YouTube talked about it. So this is a beautiful white chocolate vanilla fragrance with that beautiful apricot. And if you like um, Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works, you are going to like um, Jessica Simpson's signature. This, but just take Twilight, um, add a little vanilla in it and add you know uh, white chocolate and you get something similar it's very similar backbone so yeah Jessica Simpson signature um, the next one up we have um, Jimmy Choo Fever uh, this is a beautiful fragrance it was made by Honorine Blanc um, that was the reason why I had purchased it in the first place um, so there is lychee in here there is coffee um, and there is also vanilla and vanilla is one of the first things you smell along with the lychee when you first smell it and again, you know, this I think is labeled as a floral gaman, but there's also super heavy on the vanilla. Like you get smacked in that face or caressed in the face because it does not smack you. It's not like sharp or anything. Um, you get caressed <laughs> in the face with that vanilla when you wear it. And I absolutely am in love with this fragrance. Um, and I came up with something today and I put it on my shorts is to mix these two together because this is a nice beautiful vanilla sweet fragrance and this is a beautiful nice vanilla sweet fragrance and adding them together just makes this explosion of sweet feminine oh my gosh like you have to almost it's not like I want to eat you kind of gourmand but you're so sweet that you kind of want to bite yourself you know um so you put um Jimmy Choo Fever on the bottom because this one will overtake the Jessica Simpson. So put this one on it because that coffee note kind of makes it a little bit denser. And then go in with Jessica Simpson's signature on the top and just, oh my God, just absolute heaven to mix those two together. Okay, moving right along. I just wanted to do, I mean, I'm not going to spend any time on this. This is Kaali Vanilla 28. I mean, this one literally almost needs no introduction, but I will because, you know, there's always new people coming into the fragrance world that may not have heard of it. Um, Monica Tan made this fragrance. Um, there is orchid in here. Um, there's brown sugar and there's vanilla. This is a beautiful, absolutely stunning vanilla scent. It does make my nose itch a little bit when I first spray it, but it goes away almost immediately. It's really not a big deal because it's totally worth that slight itch in my nose for the amazingness that this is. 
Um, so honorable mention, it's all over YouTube, um, and for good reason. It's Kayali Vanilla Twenty Eight. All right, this is one you very likely have not heard of, and definitely you have not heard of it on any vanilla list. And I'm about to put you on. This is an inexpensive, beautiful fragrance. So this is, um, I'm not sure if this is an American brand. Yeah, it's from France. Um, it's called Mademoiselle Twist by Maubosson. And this opens with vanilla and orange. I think orange flower. And this, I think it's orange blossom. I think there may be neroli in here too. But neroli typically does not sit well with me. And orange blossom is a hit or miss with me. But this one. Oh my God. Okay, so I don't know how to describe this. You immediately smell that vanilla. This is so sweet. Um, and just look at that bottle, like a little spinny topper here. Um, but yeah, you get that orange flower um, and you get that vanilla and there's almost this like cake batter. And it's not like the fluffy cake, you know, the, the cake batter that you have while you're mixing before you put it in the pan, before you put it into the oven. So if you've ever made like orange cake and you've tasted the batter while it was raw, that is kind of what this smells like. I literally don't have another way to describe it. It is so, oh my gosh, I just, I need to smell it again. It is so, it's slightly addictive to me. Um, and again, I'm gonna list all these down below for, for you guys. Oh my God. And it smells even better on the skin because it, it just melts more with that vanilla. Yeah, so that raw orange cake batter, and it's not like a strong, zesty kind of orange orange. It's more like a, like the juice of the orange or the, ju or, or the oil of the orange flower mixed with that vanilla. And I think that might be musk or something grounding it because um, this lasts a pretty decent amount of time. And this, oh my God, it's just so delicious. I, I literally cannot stop smelling it. So if you want not a run-of-the-mill vanillas because, you know, there's a lot of things I make vanilla lists, um, but you want something different and you want to try something new, so definitely try Mademoiselle, Mo, uh, Mademoiselle Twist by Maubusson. Um, this is a perfume from France, and again, this has not been on any vanilla list, and I think only a few international YouTubers have mentioned it, um, but this is, again, just one of those underrated gems, which I think needs more love, and if you love vanilla, you love sweet fragrances, oh my God, you are going to be obsessed with this, okay? So again, because um, this is new and you've probably never seen it before, Mademoiselle Twist by Maubosson. All right, I'm trying to stay to the, the cheaper ones. Okay, moving on. Uh, next one we have Roberto Cavalli, the actual, like the signature one, so Roberto Cavalli's signature. So I see um, a lot of YouTubers talking about like the, the flankers of this, um, like, I, I don't even know, like, Gemma Paradiso and that flanker and the other flanker of this. I mean, I can't keep up. The Roberto Cavalli is very talented. He has very has a very good nose, but I think this one's kind of falls under the radar. And this is a beautiful vanilla orange flower. So this is specifically there's vanilla, um, African orange flower, and I think tonka bean as well in here. And this is just so sweet. Oh my God, it's so sweet. It's so beautiful. Um, it's very classy. And that vanilla you get immediately with that orange flower. Um, and I know vanilla and orange flower is very popular in a lot of fragrances and that is for a reason because it is really delicious and it's hard to go wrong. This is an inoffensive scent. This is very classy. Um, I just, I cannot see anybody not liking this. And again, this is the original Roberto Cavalli signature, um, not all the other flankers. Uh, those are good too, but um, for a vanilla list, I feel like this kind of doesn't get quite enough love. Um, and I definitely will be buying another one of these when this runs out. Okay, another one that um, does not get any love here on YouTube, and I mentioned this in my perfume reviews of the month, last month. Uh, this is Cosmic Radiance by Britney Spears. Hold a judgment. So Honorine Blanc um, was a perfumer for this. And even though it is a celebrity fragrance, when you smell this, you can tell that this is a talented nose working with a limited budget, right? So she did her best she could with the limited budget probably of working with a celebrity fragrance. I'm just reaching for a test strip here. 
Okay, so when you first open and smell this, you get that vanilla. Oh my God, you get that lychee. You get that, um, that I think it's clementine. Um, but you also get those white florals. You get that jasmine, you get that tuberose. Um, it's just so done, well done. And you can see the dent that I have in here. Like, see here? Like, I really love this. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. And that lychee and that juicy fruits um, that are in the front, but then those white florals, after like 10 minutes, they come to the front and they become floral forward. But it's not like, um, what? so the thing is, like, I never thought I would like white florals. Like literally, after I discovered this, I realized I, I'm starting to appreciate white florals, like out of nowhere last month. Um, cause I just, I, I had always been scared to smell white florals cause I had this preconceived notion of what it would smell like. And boy, was I wrong. Like when it's done, well, it is done well. And again, Henri Blanc, you could tell she's a talented nose, right? Even though this is a celebrity fragrance, she worked magic with this. And I don't know why this doesn't get love. Again, it's a celebrity fragrance. Yeah, sure. It's not a strong projector, but for me, it lasts at least four hours on my skin and people in my intimate space, I'm a shorty. So like within my arm space, will smell me. Um, and that gardenia is so nice. Oh, that was a note that scared me. It was gardenia, right? Anything with gardenia scares me, but like, it's just so well blended and there's this creaminess to it. It's like a creamy, um, I guess that's from the white florals. Oh my God, it's just so bloody good. It's like you're sitting next to an English garden and the breeze is blowing over the white florals and you're eating juicy fruit. And like there's a vanilla and it's all coming together into a fragrance. Um, so again, this is Britney Spears, uh, Cosmic Radiance. Um, and again, I will list everything down below. I just, I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay. Um, another one I just get out of the way that you probably see on all the lists. This is YSL Libre. Um, I also had the, the newer flanker YSL Libre Parfum all the way on my bed over there. I'm not going to run over there to go get it. But um, this is lavender heavy. But also you get that vanilla and I think there's orange blossom. And I have had a whole journey with YSL Libre. I was judging it out of a sample and you just cannot. And Aisha the Great, she had touched upon it today in one of her videos today. That you cannot properly judge a fragrance out of a sampler and she's right because that was my experience too because when I finally got my nose on something with a proper atomizer it was a completely different experience so it taught me something um so yeah Aisha the Grace probably never gonna see this but still I love watching her and she had literally touched upon it today um but this is why it's a Lieb. it's a beautiful um compliment getter this is vanilla it's lavender um if you're not into lavender and i thought i wasn't but apparently i'm getting into lavender do i sell libre uh intense or you could do what i did this morning um in my shorts because i wanted more vanilla in this so what i did i mixed ysl libre with kaoli vanilla 28 and put the base of um victoria's secret um bare vanilla untamed and I was smelling like a snack. Okay, all right, so yeah. Again, why Salib, any of the flankers is a good vanilla fragrance. Um, okay, another one that has not been mentioned on YouTube. Um, so I uh, kind of brought into YouTube was Jessica Simpson Signature and I'm about to put you on to this one. But this one's for my, uh, my ladies who like fruity, really sweet fragrances, okay? This one right here, Marazor Pink. Just, it's such a cute little bottle. It's it's pretty hefty here. Like it's a heavy glass bottle. Now this, I'm just gonna get a tester spray here because I have so many things on me right now. I smell crazy. This is beautiful. It There's cherry in here, there's vanilla, there's chocolate, not white chocolate, but there's just regular chocolate. I believe there is iris and um, musk in here as well. Oh my God, this is sharp and sweet, slightly tart in the beginning. You definitely get that sweetness of the vanilla. You get that cherry. You Oh, and there's also apple. You get that apple here. Like I actually forgot until I smelled it. And yeah, the tartness comes from, I think the cherry, but also the crispness of that green apple. Um, the chocolate's way more in the background. I think gives it a little bit of creaminess and that musk. But right off the bat, you get that vanilla, you get that cherry and that green apple. And the sweetness of that vanilla comes right away. And literally nobody talks about this. 
mirrors or pink. You have to like cherry fragrances. You have to like sweet, fruity fragrances for this. Um, but if you do, you're gonna love this. And it is a little bit sharp for the first minute, but like, again, don't let perfumes play with your skin. And it can come off a little synthetic-y for the first couple of minutes, but again, let it play with your skin chemistry. And that day when I was wearing this, I smelled so flipping good. So flipping good. I, I just, oh my goodness. I can clearly see, I can't stop smelling it. Um, yeah, so you got that, that uh, cherry, you get that vanilla. You get that musk is starting to come out, like literally even on your skin, you really could start to get that musk after five, but it's not like a soapy kind of musk, it just kind of grounds it with a slight of like fluffy creaminess almost. I, I don't know how else to describe it because it's not like a soapy kind of musk. By the way, I love musk fragrances anyway, but um, but it has to be well done. Um, yeah, and that chocolate's way in the background, but it's not like a chocolate chocolate. It's it kind of, I think that's probably where the creaminess is coming from. Um, God, yeah, this is so good. So I'm gonna put you on right here. It's called Marazor Pink, and it's really inexpensive. It's available on fragrance I checked again this morning. It's still available um, for about less than twenty dollars. I think maybe seventeen dollars, but you know, fragrance net hits you with like a nine dollars shipping. Um, so plan to pay a little bit over uh, twenty two dollars for this. Uh, and I think if you like fruity sweet fragrances, I think this is totally worth the investment um, for this beautiful little un. Uh, talked about gem here again I will list it down below okay another one people don't talk about um, I have only seen I think a couple of male youtubers talk about this because it is a unisex fragrance um, this is from the brand Rasasi uh, everybody talks about the ke, res, uh, Rasasi Kasemat um, Rasana for good reason I have that and it is amazing Rasana is just that girl it, or, 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 that, or just that person, right? Because it is a unisex fragrance and it is amazing. It is fresh, it's woody, it's all the things and I love wearing it and I love turning heads when I wear it. I mean, that's not the reason why I'm turning heads, but like, you know what I mean. Um, but it's just so good. But one that ladies don't talk about is Rasana Kasemeth Ibhar. It's a beautiful vanilla. You can already see the dent that I have in this from wearing it. And there's vanilla, there's praline, there's apple. And can we just talk about the bottle? I mean, if you're familiar with um, Rosace in general, they're just very beautiful um, packaging. And this is a Middle Eastern um, brand, but this isn't a typical Middle Eastern um, scent profile. And oh my God, this is so bloody good. Oh my God, you get that vanilla right away. You get that praline. This is for my sweet lovers. It's like, uh, apple covered in vanilla and uh, praline. It's just the sweet delectableness and it lasts quite a bit on me. Um, uh, oh my God, and I, it's, it lasts quite a while on my clothes as well. Um, and again, so this is Rasasi Kasemeth Ibhar. So I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, so that's Arabic right there. Um, it's so beautiful. So um, Rasana, for good reason, gets all the attention but um, I, I like to pay attention to the other siblings or other flankers or just perfumes in general that don't get any hype. Um, like I, I tend to like the shy boy, um, my kind of, that's just my kind of person, you know, like the, the guy that everybody tends to look over is, tends to be my type. And it's the same thing with fragrances as well. Um, if you love sweet fragrances, and I think there's also a little bit of woodiness towards the end. Um, I think there may be a little oud in here, but it's not like oud, you know, it's, I could be wrong. But there is definitely woodiness, um, but it's so well blended. It's more like a sweet fragrance and the woodiness just helps it last and kind of blend. Okay, uh, yeah, so let me just move along because we're already um, past 20 minutes. Yeah, so Rasasi Kasemet Ebhar is a beautiful vanilla uh, praline apple fragrance, which I really needs some love. And this is a unisex fragrance. All right, trying to keep it. Oh, and this is relatively, uh, I think, affordable. This is a 1.7 for about $70, um, or about 60 to 70, I don't remember. Um, but totally worth it if you love those sweet um, vanilla praline kind of fragrances. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, this one I learned about from Gabby Loves Perfumes. Uh, this one is Le Notes Gourmands, uh, Reminiscence Drage. 
Um, so this is a beautiful, bright, vanilla, um, almondy scent. This is great for the morning and the afternoon. Oh, and this is great for uh, mixing um, with layering with other fragrances. You get that almond right away. Oh my God. And right behind the vanilla, uh, right behind the almond, it's not like a bitter almond, it is a sweet almond. And I think it's a sweet almond because you get that vanilla right away. And I think there's like an orange flower in here. Again, I'm not gonna go over all the notes, just the ones that kind of like, uh, I think are, bear, work, are worth talking about. This is a delicious, delicious, delicious almond fragrance. And yeah, Gabby really kind of hit it out of the park with this one. And it is affordable. Gosh, I, I, I think it's below $60 or below $50. It is inexpensive um, and very much readily available, I think, on FragranceNet. Um, and I definitely recommend if you like almondy scents, if you want to layer your fragrances with almond, this would be a great layering, and it's also great on its own. It's not the longest lasting one, but again, that's what layering is for, layering with other perfumes. And this this will, oh, it's so bright. It's so like cheerful. Um, yeah, this is just bright and cheerful. This is great for the morning and the afternoon. And if you wanna wear it in the evening, I would recommend pairing it with something a little bit deeper. Oh, uh, again, so this is Drage Reminiscence, and I will list it down below. Um, okay, so now let me finish up the cheaper ones here. Okay, so this is another one that doesn't get any love. Uh, generally, I think Victoria's Secret perfumes sometimes get a bad rap. Uh, this is a discontinued fragrance, but it's still very much readily available. This is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Gold. And I just, I love the packaging. It's just so cute. Um, this is a stunner. This, um, I also checked this morning, it's still available. Um, by resellers. I think about $60 to $70. Um, typical price you would pay for a Victoria's Secret perfume. So this has, um, it has sugar, it has lychee, it has vanilla, and it has woods. Simple notes, absolutely stunning. It definitely is, I think you get that wood and that lychee and that vanilla very prominently. All the, list, all the notes they list, you get. You get that sugar, that white sugar, you get that vanilla, you get that woodiness, you get that, um, uh, you get that uh, lychee, which adds a little bit of juiciness, but this is so flipping classy. Like in my uh, last perfume video that I mentioned this, it gives me the like the imagery of being on Fifth Avenue, sitting down, eating a drinking espresso in a cafe on Fifth Avenue, um, just living my best life. This is a super classy fragrance, and I think it's super un underrated. Um, and I really think you need to get your nose on this if you like lychee, woody, sweet vanilla fragrances and you don't mind um, Victoria's Secret perfumes, I would definitely recommend you get your hands on this from a reseller. And if this ever ran out, I would definitely repurchase this. Again, a beautiful, classy, woody, sophisticated, surprisingly sophisticated, and surprisingly unisex for Victoria's Secret. Um, this definitely leans more on the feminine marketed side. Obviously, it's Victoria's Secret, but there definitely is a unisex element to this that I absolutely, absolutely adore. Because if you're familiar with my channel, yes, I love sweet, you know, floral, um, gour sweet gourmands. Um, but I also have a whole nother side of me where I like deeper, darker unisex scents, and I even wear male fragrances. Um, so again, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Gold. Highly recommend. Now, um, I went for a beach getaway this weekend, and this was one of my scents for the evening. Again, bombshell, the original bombshell, I'm over it. Like I, There was a point in my life in college that I liked it, totally over it now. But this is the intense version of this, and this is so bloody good. And again, this is just kind of overlooked. So there is peony in here, there is uh, there's cherry, and there is um, vanilla, obviously. This is a vanilla video. Now, it might seem a little screechy coming out of the cap, and when you put it on your skin, you get that vanilla, but you also get that watery aquaticiness, almost of the floral aquaticiness of the peony. Um, so I think maybe that might kind of confuse people because they're expecting cherry, because there is cherry listed in here. Hear me out. So put it on your skin. Uh, the sharpness of the peony 
it could throw you off because I, I think the mindset is you're expecting cherry and you're smelling something kind of peony and aquatic like let it be on your skin for about 15 to 20 minutes let the top notes just blend into your skin the cherry will come out I promise and then after about 20 minutes when it kept I could not stop sniffing my wrist I was in public eating dinner and I kept Try, I was trying to be I was trying to be subtle about it, but there's not really much subtle about me. And I just kept sniffing my wrist and I'm like, God, it smells so good. Um, yeah, after 20 minutes, all you get is that vanilla and that cherry. Um, yeah, just you gotta give this a chance. Just let it play down on your skin and you will see the magic that is this. So this is bombshell um intense. And I don't know, no, this isn't this is not discontinued. Because the last time I went into Victoria's Secret about uh, two months ago in the actual store, I saw this there. So somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is still available because I saw it in the store. Okay, now moving on to the more expensive ones. Again, um, this one does not get enough love for how amazing this is. This is um, Monsera Royal Vanilla. And can we just take a moment for the bottle? Look at that mother of pearl on that cap. Look at that. That's real mother of pearl. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. But what's even more stunning is this bloody fragrance. And to just note right off the bat that this is more of a Middle Eastern kind of profile. So Mancera, um, a lot of, it's also a sister house of Montal, I believe. And they just have this kind of DNA to them that's almost Middle Eastern. And that's why I absolutely love it. Um, so this there is an element of this. I think there's amber in here as well, and I don't remember all the notes, but like I just get that sweet, and I believe there's amber in here, and it's like a beautiful, gently Middle Eastern, like vanilla, and the sound of it, royal vanilla, that is the most accurate description of a name I have ever seen. You will literally smell like a royal princess or a royal prince when you wear this you will smell like royalty and i literally had somebody come out of a gas station just to tell me how good i smelled um, when i was filling gas and that day i was wearing this royal vanilla so this is definitely a compliment getter this is strong if you're familiar with mancera um dna's and their performances their beast mode fragrances this is no exception um I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself. I, I really am blanking on the notes, but all you need to know that it's exactly what the name is, Royal Vanilla. You will smell like Arab royalty. That's it, Middle Eastern royalty. That's what you would smell like. And I highly recommend this. And again, this is Montserrat Royal Vanilla. This is definitely on the pricier side. Um, I would say save up for it or get a decant um, if you can. Or um, yeah, decants are available. Um, I think maybe through Lucky Scent, um, but I, I would definitely highly recommend this. And maybe check on the discounter websites. Um, you might be able to try your luck there, but I'm in love with this vanilla. And if I ever ran out, I would definitely repurchase this. Another one doesn't really get any love here on um, the airwaves. This one is more of a holistic, slightly woody, slightly lavenderish vanilla. So for people who don't like a vanilla that's sweet and gourmand and feminine and sweet, this will be more for you. This is realistic. And for those who don't like beast mode kind of projectors, because 